Hey everybody, uh, Mo Kings here, and uh, I haven't made a video for a while because I've been thinking about what to make a video about, so um, I'm actually going to, in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Blu-ray movies and HD DVD movies in your 360 without needing a Blu-ray drive or the HD DVD add-on drive thing so um there's actually three ways you can do this um the first way you have to have a HD DVD player or a blu-ray drive and then uh, you would have to upload the actual movie to your computer um, I'm not going to show how to do that because that's really a pain in the ass and uh, I don't have a Blu-ray drive or HD DVD drive so I'm going to show you the other two ways that you can put Blu-ray movies and uh, HD DVD movies onto your 360 so give me a second let me flip this camera around and I'll show you hold on alright now there's my PC right there. I still don't have the shit that I need. And I don't know how to uh, record like my actual PC shit. So, sorry if it looks like shit a little bit. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, here is a Blu-ray movie. The Lesbian Vampire Killers. The reason I actually chose this movie is because I think this movie is only on Blu-ray. So, um... The first thing you have to do is you have to go somewhere that has the Blu-ray or HD DVD torrents. Or if you have the Blu-ray drive or you have the HD DVD player drive, you can put it in there and you can upload the movie to your PC. And then, uh, so from here what we're going to do, see there's the movie, we're going to um, download the file. So see there it is, Vampire Lesbian Killers in Blu-ray. So you click download. You open it with your uTorrent. All right, we'll X that now. Here it is, right here. Vampire Lesbian Kill. I downloaded it earlier, so I can just make this video real fast. So the Blu-ray movie is f fully downloaded, and I saved it. Uh, open that. This will work with Blu-ray and HD DVD. Go to where I saved it. Wow, I can't believe this shit is fucking freaking out like that. There it goes. Then uh, go to the movie. And it should be right here. Alright, now there's your Blu-ray movie right there. I downloaded that shit. That's your Blu-ray movie. Now... That shit is not going to work, you know what I mean? Because it's a fucking Blu-ray movie. So now what you gotta do... Also, it's an HD DVD movie. So, I'm going to... Create a file on the desktop. There's already one there. And, uh... You have to use... A program... Called... Alright, here, let me do it like this. Okay, and then we'll go to the desktop. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is you need to um, download uh, a program called VSO, and then space, and then it's called DivX to DVD, um, Blu ray. Yeah, and then. Uh, VSO DVX to DVD that will that will convert the Blu-ray to to DVD file or like to DVD. Um, you don't really lose any of the uh, high def. You know what I'm saying? So when you watch the movie, the shit's still in high def. Then uh, you need a program right here called Clone DVD Two. So you open this. This is the the. Uh, VSO file program I said you need the VSO and then uh, you right here you put the uh, save location then you open the file 
And you lo put your Blu-ray movie in there. All right. So here it is right here. There. Now I've got the Blu-ray movie in there. Then you click convert and change the file from Blu-ray to uh, another file type. Then, so I saved it right here. Where I said this is where I saved it on the desktop. So um, we use this program. So you create a file on the desktop. It could say anything. I made my say DVD files. Then you open the VSO program. Then uh, after you open the VSO program, you load the the uh, Blu-ray movie into it or HD DVD movie into it. Then you convert it, and then here it is, right here in the save location. Then after see, and then after you save it there you can load this clone DVD 2 right here go copy title then load that fucking blu-ray that you just converted right there see now it's showing look at that that shit is high def right there blu-ray you see what I'm saying and then click next click next then you can put in your blank disc, regular DVD, or if you want all special features, you can use a dual air DVD. And then uh, you pretty much just burn that. Let me close this out. I already have them burned, and I'll show you. All right, now um, let me close this shit. All right, now pretty much that's how you you burn it. Now, now another thing you can do is if you don't want to convert it and all that, you can actually uh, download the Blu-ray and then you can pull it off your computer using um the Windows Media Center. And uh, you can watch it on your 360 Blu-ray movies or HD, HD DVD movies off your computer using the Windows Media Center. So, what I'm going to do, hold on, give me a second. Alright, now let me show you the disc. Lesbian Vampire Killers in Blu-ray right there. HD DVD Blu-ray. It's actually it's not HD DVD. It's a Blu-ray. So yeah. Now I'm gonna put it in to show you that it works. All right, now let me switch it over. You see, and here it is. Blu-ray on your Xbox 360. And uh, it's really easy to do. Um, it's not very hard. There's three ways to do it. One, you can get the Blu-ray drive the HD DVD drive and then actually upload the the Blu-ray file or HD DVD file to your computer and then follow the steps that I said to download the actual Blu-ray file or HD DVD file and then convert it and follow my steps or three download the HD DVD or Blu-ray files and then get it onto your Xbox using the uh, using the um fucking uh, Windows Media Center that your 360 provides so that's pretty much how to do it guys now you guys can watch all your blu-ray movies without having to buy a PS3 um 
that's pretty much it for right now. I'm going to try to figure out some more cool stuff and uh, let you guys check that shit out. But it's your boy Master Moking. And uh, just trying to figure out some more cool shit for you guys. So there you go. Later. Oh, yeah. By the way, for you to um do the uh, to play it using the disc, you actually have to flash your box first. So just go flash your Xbox and it'll be good. Um, for you to do it with the Windows Media Center, you don't have to do anything to your box. You can actually just do it. So there you go, guys. Later.